My PhD advisee is hilarious. And I never knew that in our many years of working together. So if I think back to my time at Columbia, I had a very particular relationship uh, with my PhD advisor. And throughout graduate school, it was just my assumption that this was just the advising style that applied to all of this person's advisees. And it was much later as an assistant professor at Stanford when I met in China uh, with a fellow advisee of our shared advisor. And this advisee told me stories of babysitting for my advisor and having conversations about uh, kind of family and personal matters. And I just remember sitting there drinking my beer being like, who are you talking about? The person you're talking about doesn't resemble at all the person I remember. But then as I thought about it, it occurred to me that an advisor changes just like an, a human being in general will change over time and in relation to different people. The way I advised when I started at Stanford University at age 27 is different than how I advise now as a 45-year-old. I advise differently now that I'm a parent than when I did before. Um, I advise differently depending upon who my advisee is, if they're personable, if they're closed off. I am sure that different kind of subject positions alert and bring out of me different dimensions in my personality and my style. So if you think about all of these different combinations of life stage, of my life stage, their life stage, um, all of the dynamics in that relationship, there are multiple advisor advisee relationships going going on. And it wasn't until a few years later, so I, I discovered that my advisor was completely different with other uh, advisees they worked with at different stages of my advisor's life, different kind of subject positions of the advisees, etc. And it was even later when I discovered that inadvertently the same thing operates in the opposite direction. I remember having a conversation with a colleague and the conversation turned to an advisee who I worked with, really brilliant person, having a, a, a fantastic a career. And somehow we came to the point, this person just blurted out, so-and-so is hilarious. And I remember just sitting back in my chair being like, again, who are we talking about here? Because the person I knew was extremely reserved, uh, sort of really minimalist. And it turned out in the course of the conversation that this person has like sparkling wit, uh, like a really dry sense of humor is the cut up uh, of, of parties and cocktail parties and so forth. And I realized like, oh my gosh, it works as much in one direction as the other. So that when I think I know my advisee after years and years and years of relating to them, in fact, I don't. I have a facet of this person, but as with all relationships, what they choose to let out, to reveal, to withhold, how they themselves are changing over time with their life stages, all of that is changing as well. An advisor never really knows their advisee in, in, in some sort of entirety, and an advisee never really knows their advisor. Please keep that in mind, no matter which side of this dyad you're on. I'll see you in the next video.